Welcome to Prismata. Go away. Hi. I, okay. We're playing Prismata today. Another one of those card game strategy hybrid things where every time we every time we hear about one of these, we kind of just have to go into it to figure out where it's going because or what what's going on with it. One little flag already is that it wants you to create up a create a sign on account again, just like the other one did recently. Uh, was able to skip some of the settings slash login via Steam account and stuff. So there's that. Welcome, Commander. Playing Prismata for the first time? We recommend that you begin with the single player campaign. That's exactly what I was intending on doing. We have episode one outbreak, nine challenges, and then there's more down here. Five total. Junkers. Junkers, crime is so rare in the autonomous desert city of Centauri that only one guardian, Swarm Wielder, is kept on the payroll. He doesn't like his job very much. Beacon, a tidally locked planet. One half always faces the sun, receiving constant daylight. The other half side remains in perpetual darkness. Centauri, solar power generation outpost. Nice art, generally. Municipal Security Headquarters, Administrative District, Centauri Urban Core. Giselle, any work for me today? Suede Wong, Guardian Swarm Wielder. All that stuff. Education. Other stuff. Most recent search queries. What to do when bored at work? Job postings, Mahar. Do straws have one hole or two? Hello, Swade. No deploy requests in the last 878 days, sir. Robotics, robotic assistant, installed modules, office administration and maintenance, date, uh, data intelligence, swarm wielding assistance. And my job continues to bring me endless excitement, fulfillment, and purpose. I'll be at the bar. Wade. Logan Pearson. Search queries. Tooth feels a bit loose sometimes. Cool robot chassis mods. Why does cilantro taste like absolute garbage? He's a data specialist. My contract allows remote work. It's not that. There's a situation down at this entire robotics facility factory. I told them last time we aren't responsible for parking disputes. No, we just received an incident report. Code red. Apparently one of their robo-custodians pushed a foreman over at a three-story catwalk railing. That can't be right. It's probably another jumper. Two witnesses called it in. You need to check it out. All right. At least it's on the way to the bar. Could it be actual work after two years of not? Six minutes later at the Centauri Robotics Manufacturing Facility. Okay, I'm here. Where's the casualty? Did they already scrape him off the payment? The victim's barely alive. They took him to emergency care. Apparently, a whole batch of robots went crazy. People are evacuating. Can't the supervisors just turn them off? They've tried everything. The bots are completely ignoring override and shutdown commands. You need to terminate them. Heh, <sighs> most action I've had on the job in months. Got your Prismata slate? Yep, it's right here. Let's see if this thing still works. Is that the puzzle mechanic? Oh yeah, it immediately splits into a card game screen. Activate your assembler, okay. Assembler creates steel splitter. Okay. End your turn. They're litter bugs? There's a turn-based card game thing. Do I use do I use another assembler to make another steel splitter? Yep. I imagine that yeah, it's under construction and cannot be clicked until next turn, so it's currently in progress. What about you? Each steel splitter contributes one point of damage to your attack pool. Damage is dealt at the end of the turn. Clicking enemy units to assign damage to them from your attack pool. End your turn when this is complete. That guy. Alright. Another assembler. Two attackers. Proceed to damage. That guy, that guy. End. 
Straightforward enough. Got him. Well, that was easy. Actually, there are quite a few more for you to take out. Ouch. Looks like somebody at Centaur Robots is getting fired. Did they screw up their latest software update? Not sure yet. They're still looking into it. But I booted up a second assembler for you. You know, they made the robot lady. I really thought that was going to be the person that was guiding me through missions, but weirdly, we're dealing with this guy instead. It's almost like they made her redundant immediately. Nice. That should speed things up. Oh, two assemblers. Click and drag across a pile of units to swipe them all, all of them at once. Okay. Swing. Yep. Swing. All right, so that's how you quickly apply damage. Urban Cleanliness Automaton. It has four health instead of one, but other than that, I don't know what it does. In fact, I don't think anything's attacking me back. All right, I've got the controls down for now. Entire Robotics just sent me an update. Everything built in the last 48 hours has been corrupted. That's a lot of junkers. Do they want me to scrap them all? It's the only option. Want me to send over the Odin? It's still assembled in the hangar. The Odin. That level of firepower is total overkill for this job. Send it over. <laughs> he knew he was going to say that. Consume a steel splitter to gain four attack. Okay. Nyom. I can make more of those easily. Alright, 14 damage. That's not the Odin, it's no, that's my collective damage. 7 on you. Some on you. Right, that's all of it. Still gonna keep building up more though. But doing. Yeah, they're not gonna last at all. All right. That'd be a lot of busy work in this combat if it wasn't for the fact that you could drag and drop and make it just instantly over. Uh, not, dra not drag and drop, I mean swipe across. So there's a further complication. Centauri Robotics can't stop the production line. Huh? The whole facility went nuts? Correct. It's pumping out corrupted scrappers at maximum speed. The factory computers are rejecting all commands, so they can't even power it down. They need you to shut it off by force. Tell them it won't be a problem. Easy peasy, right? Just keep dragging. 17 damage, not enough for a bot factory. Do any of these things actually attack ever? I assume they will, but so far nothing has. We're just making this kind of one-sided Nope, that one's constructing things. Can I undamage? Nope. I should have applied. That's why I attacked the big stuff first, because I ran, I ran out of points to spend. Well, now I can kill the whole factory. Goodbye. Now you can't make any new things. Not that they were a threat to begin with. Oh, hey. Must have beat the whole chapter. There's the Odin. All malfunctioning sanitation automatons have been eliminated. Swade, you really trashed this place. Just decommissioned a corporate soup can factory. I guess that was a pretty sim- that was pretty simple compared to, uh, to fighting in the war, huh? Nothing compares to that. The Slate's interface was so primitive back then, you had to individually control every unit in the swarm. Is this a joke about a previous game or version they made? Now you just point and click. Just point and click. Oh, his face got sad. Yeah, about that. We need to have a talk. If you want to talk, you know where to meet me. He sounds like a happy person. Healthy mix of PTSD and swipe combat. <laughs> Square, square wave. 
After eliminating several batches of malfunctioning Rebel Custodians, Swade heads over to the bar to unwind. Logan joins him and discusses the day's events. Also, does combat happen? Because there's like a weird railgun in the... Uh, this art is really good, actually. The only bar in Centauri, Square Wave. What a massacre. They don't even have enough junkers left to haul away the carcasses. It's a good thing you were gentle when you shut down the factory. Of course, I employed the utmost surgical precision when I violently de demolished the place. Oh yeah, so about that. Back at the factory, you seemed a bit rusty with the swarm-wielding interface. Oh yeah, says who? Says the built-in analysis software? It also says that your continuing education login hasn't been used in 455 days. I was called in to handle some robots and I handled them, just leave it at that. But you used to love training and practicing. Back when it mattered. The war's over, Logan. Being a swarm wielder feels pointless when there's no one to fight. Well, what about the tournaments? The tournaments were great, back when it took real skill to win them. Well, shouldn't you at least try to pass the simulations? Screw the sims. Give me some real action and you'll see how it's done. Gentlemen, apologies for the interruption, but we received another urgent incident report. More hostile sanitation automatons were sighted in the downtown Centauri. They're damaging vehicles. What? Did we miss some of them? You look into it. I'm heading out there. I'm taking a swarm of drones this time. Click to gain one gold, I think? Yep, gold. Okay. One gold per turn for every drone. This has the potential to be cra- oh yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm interested in this because this has the potential to be a really interesting, complicated card setup where there's a bunch of different, uh, what I gathered from the cuts, uh, not cutscenes, the screenshots I saw on the pa the store pages, it almost seemed like it'd be like an RTS head-to-head -head card game. Not like, an, not, it's obviously not a real-time game, but I mean like, the, the way that in, in an RTS you build a base with like defenses and resource gatherers and offensive units and buildings and like there's all these things going on that are a bit more it's a different look than your traditional like put monsters on the field spend mana on them are they tapped right now attack stuff like that uh this might get weird really fast <laughs> they want me to make a blast forge because it starts at start of turn it gives me one bohemium so we have resources in this game This is where things can get weird. I think nothing can fight me still, though, so it's going to be kind of a bummer if I go through this entire let's try without fighting anything that fights back. So it made one per turn. Ah, I, and I need one to make a steel splitter. Okay, so that's... Okay. Because I had a thing before that made steel splitters. Now I have to make them manually. So this is where we get into the... what might be a sort of a mana system. Let's make one... Oh, uh, Make the gold first, and then make a steel splitter. There we go. Now I've got a unit that can actually attack. And now that I have two of them, I'll be making two of that stuff. So it does seem like the game does, after all, have a mana system, although there's more involved. So drones give you gold, blast forges make you bohemium, and then you buy stuff with them. Yeah, that's weird that they were tutorializing that after I already did it, but okay. You don't activate these manually, right? They just do it? Yeah. Now I can make a drake once I have some money. But I already spent it just now. Whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot more damage coming in. Incoming communication. So I installed this nice chat app on your slate. What do you think? I don't give a damn. Why are there more wacko junkers in downtown Centauri? I don't know yet. The, uh, these are from the, the city fleet. They've been working fine for ages. So the fresh out of the factory bots weren't the only ones that went screwy. Guess not. I'll look into it. They don't have defenses yet. They don't have- actually, they don't- yeah, they don't do anything yet so far. There we go, I can afford a drake now. 
Start of turn gains two power. Click consume the blast a blast forge to gain additional two power. Oh jeez. Okay, so it gives me two power regardless, but if I destroy a blast forge, I get more, but that's a whole blast forge. I kind of want the uh raw in input of of income. Huh. Cannot make more drones. I wonder if people coming in could attack my drones or not directly. Yeah, I kind of want to keep my blast forges, honestly. So wait, there's something going on near building NW12. It's just more junkers. Tell someone to tip them over, they're not even fighting back. Well, it looks serious. You should get over there when you're done. Alright, I'll hurry. And kill, and kill. Definitely like a gathering storm sort of game where you have to get to the point where it's all coming together so the damage happens. I can't tell if I'm playing correctly or not because there's nothing that fights back yet. <laughs> it's kind of an important clue as to whether or not you're doing well is when you start taking damage back. So wait, you need to get to the Northwest Plaza right away. Alright, I'll take the jumpster. The jumpster. Personal subsonic aircraft. So it's a uh, flying craft. Lift off. So Logan, what's going on? It's bad. There's a swarm of unpiloted Centauri robotics drones constructing other units. Unpiloted drones? With nobody wielding them? Just building stuff on their own. Correct. Right now they're, they're only building more public sanitation bots, but... Drones can construct nearly anything. Out of, out of control drones are a serious threat. Did the whole Centauri robotics network go off the deep end? Perhaps. All the tasks are assigned by centralized artificial intelligence that optimizes for efficiency. Maybe it decided to optimize urban cleanliness by chasing out all the humans. Huh. That's pretty unlikely with all the Alliance's AI safety laws. Well, the Alliance's dogs will be here in no time if these drones start building stuff that knows how to shoot. Looks like I'm here. Oh, do I? I got something new. Oh, they have drones now. Drones are now available for construction. Drones require energy, which is produced by engineers. <laughs> so now I can now I can finally make drones, but there's a new layer on top of it now. Okay. So you require energy to make them, so you need engineers for that, but I can't craft engineers, so that'll just decide the rate at which I can make the drones. Okay. Destroy all mal malfunctioning things, destroy all unpiloted, destroy, destroy, destroy. Win, win by option. Uh, turn 19 is the one. Oh, it's turn 11 already. Crap. My previous. Was that there before? Probably was, actually. Whoops. Might fail my optional objective. It's fine. It's fine. Three coins and two power. Let's try to ramp this. Or sorry, three, three coins and one power is what I meant to say. Did they attack at all? They still can't fight. It's just a speed run for killing them, basically. In which case, getting a ton of drones might be very helpful, or it might be wasteful. See, it's 14 coins. Can't do anything to the, these guys, right? I think the fact that they're blockers means that they get attacked first, as opposed to these guys. Or oh, those are also blockers. Huh. I think that what layer they're in affects what order they're attacked in if the enemies can attack. I think that these guys will get attacked first. I guess I'll know when, it, when I get the option to attack the drones. The, RT, the RTS comparison seems actually a little bit more apt due to the fact that I'm building up an infrastructure just to start be able to start building units because I can't even... Oh, that's how you undo commands. At the moment, I can't even, uh, attack. So it's, it's like when playing Age of Empires, where you just have, like, 
some villagers and a farm, and you gotta make actual soldiers so the, the level can even actually start. There they are. That's all I can do, right? Yeah. I'm going to start attacking soon. Did he attack me? No, that's me generating stuff. Just getting jumpy. Just getting jumpy. Let's stack up some attack. Did they not attack yet? Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to click on them. Whoops. Whoopsie. The fact that you click some things but don't click other things is mixing me up a little bit. Throwing a drake now. Killing the drones. You're not going to have money, enemy. Hey, Suede. I want to conduct a software autopsy on those drones. Can you grab one of their logic chips with the, from the debris when you're done? Will do, if I find one without any holes in it. Oh, they generate one power per turn. I think the power goes away if you don't spend it. Interesting. All drones are down. They won't be able to build anymore now. Only six damage. Not going a long way. It's one of the reasons I keep building drones is so I'll just be able to build more stuff in general. I'm trying to snowball it. Although, if I get too much money per turn, I'll then need to get more Blast Forges. Or I'll not be able to afford it. Oh, I always remember to attack. Small targets are going away, which means I'm, gonna, I'm having trouble with the interval at, at which I can attack. rather not consume all of my blast forces for uh forges for slightly faster damage yeah I, I, i'm i'm like three turns too late for the goal they were going for whoops but i've got a lot of steel splitters so that's fun All of them were taken out, but not fast enough, potentially. Phew, that was a close one. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, a couple more steel splitters and we would have gone over budget again. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, they're not attacking. Maybe you shouldn't have blown all your money on Giselle's upgrades. She turned out to be pretty useful today. You should come back to the office. It's your turn to file all the reports this week. Fine. Can't really complain after getting to blow up this much stuff in one day. Overheated. Logan is worried about that the Centauri Robotics Artificial Intelligence Systems may be compromised by a widespread software problem. Swade brings a logic chip back to the Centauri Guardian's headquarters for further study. Centauri Guardian headquarters a few minutes later. I hope Centauri Robotics is really good insurance. Don't get distracted. We need to file a one justification report for each unit you deployed in battle. Fuck. Why are you pressing buttons on those things while they're still locked? I don't know, just something I do. Like sipping out of an empty cup. He had so much sweat on his body, it was weird. Hey Giselle, did you find anything else in those drones? The non-conforming robots were industrial grade civilian construction drones running from standard firmware. They were manufactured by Centauri Robotics as part of a 40 unit order for the mun municipality of Centauri. Cause of malfunction? Unknown. Results of the post-combat physical analysis and software autopsy are still pending. Hey Logan, we secured the area, right? Are all the robots accounted for? Yes, why? Look outside. What? Are those military sentries? They have guns. What the hell is going on? 
Are they attacking us? I'll deploy the defenses and power up the overheat ray. This guy's faces. <laughs> they were having fun with the art. I'll get set up. Those little shits are gonna wander into my city. Okay, yeah. Attacks are happening now. Oh, the things got complicated fast. That's a lot of gun bots. They're right outside the office. It's no problem. I've got overheat overheat array wielded. Time to turn these soup cans into slag. So wait, the overheat ray can't fire yet. It's still charging up. You gotta hold them off until it's ready. Make another wall. Relax, I've got this. Oh yeah, the, the wall's also a unit. Prompt, blocks immediately. So blo blocks incoming attacks, it costs five... Five of that resource. Or does it? No, five coins and one resource, right? Same thing as up here. It's the only thing I'm allowed to build. Uh, but I can't yet till I get these. There we go. Now I've got two walls, which have three health. I guess those are energy matrix. That's also a blocker. I've got two energy matrices, two walls. No, three en energy matrices. The overheat ray. 30 attack, but only once every three turns, it looks like. All I can do is build walls. They do not want me to mess this one up. When the enemy attacks, you'll begin your turn with the defense phase. Use your blockers to soak up incoming damage. Okay, so I'm choosing where the damage is going. Okay. Let's say walls first. Swayed, I just checked the cams, and there are a lot more gunbots approaching. They're surrounding us. Shit. Do we have any more defenses? Anything we can boot up? Probably not. I'll look into it, but you better make as many walls as you can. I'm on it. Well, I can make two this time. That's about all we're gonna get. And then everything blew up. I'm not really in great shape right now. There are tons of them. Are they going to breach the defenses? It's fine. They'll break through, but they won't be able to take out the overheat ray. We'll get a shot off. They're going to do 12 damage. All oh, right. So I can block 11, they do 20 damage, so they're gonna do 9 damage to the ray that has 10 hit points. This is like a mathematically perfect run, isn't it? it even, it's even warning me my defenses are weaker. That's their attack, that's my total defense. I was trying to add it up and I just realized there's, there's a total right there. This bodes poorly for me. Oh, they hit my drones. Convenient. Oh no, they broke through! Your poor drones! Time for some revenge. Looks like the overheat ray is all charged up. Yeah, but I freaking love fire in this thing. And click and click. That's a lot of number. That's a lot of number. Yeah, I can't afford to make one of these anymore, so better hope this destroys them. Pshing, pshing. Yep, that did it. That did it mathematically perfectly. Almost as if this whole thing is set up like a uncharted cinematic scene. Hey, I'm in the hangar. I found a few more drones and an engineer. I just sent them out front to help. You're kind of late. Uh, you only took about a third of the gun- You only took out a about a third of the gun bots. The rest of them will be here in minutes. Really? Shit. How long until we can fire the overheat ray again? It's called the overheat ray for a reason. It needs to cool off before the next shot. Damn it. Don't worry, from the look of things, you probably have time to rebuild some defenses. Okay, I'm on it. Keep looking for more reinforcements. Oh, my drones are back. There we go. Bling. So they're gonna attack for two damage, so I need to build a wall. Or I'm gonna start losing things. Then let's build a drone. Two attack coming, use it on the on this thing. Does it heal after taking damage? I think it does. 
I think if it takes partial damage, it comes back. Looks like a couple of stragglers are still attacking. No need to worry. A single wall could hold these off forever. That seems to be what they're saying. Yeah, as it regenerates every turn, if, it, if it's going to hold them off forever. Unless more come. I'm pretty stuck on building one wall and one drone per turn. Because otherwise, uh... Yeah, it's, it's based on the fact that I only have one power. And I can't build engineers. I'm, I bet there's really some really complicated planning going on when you're able to build engineers and walls and attack units and drones and forges and you're making the, the resource decisions yourself the whole time. But so far I'm not. Oh, there's the bad guys. That's not good. Here they come! No kidding. A bunch of them just showed up on the screen. You've got to keep the overheat ray safe at all costs. Don't worry. There's no way I'm going to let a bunch of soup cans take out my favorite toy. How am I going to keep up with this, though? Because now they're, now they're going to start take, actually killing my drones, right? I mean, my walls? That's the best I can do. I can't build any attack units. Yeah, I'm in trouble. They're going to start burning through everything. Like, quickly. Unactivated drones and steel splitters can block. Okay. Which means that they take damage instead of the ray? Is what I'm getting from this? So I need the ray to last just long enough. So nine damage is going to happen. I end up, that, means I, that means I should probably block six of it. I'd say go that way. That builds a wall. That wall is now blocking six. Oh, it even says right here that I have 13 defense. Then it becomes 12. There we go. So I can be really careful and specific. And then, yeah, when it's yellow, I'll lose everything. Unless I can build a wall! In which case, it's safe to just do this again now, I guess. Huh. That's one way to be, to be sure of all this. One turn until the overheat ray can be fired again. I need one... Need one more armor. I'm down by one armor, but if I spend two drones, I can afford a wall. Which takes us exactly to how much I need, which will destroy all of those drones. Great. Yeah, that's not a good time. <laughs> that's not a great feeling. But now they're all going to die, I hope. Otherwise, we're going to be in some trouble. Uh oh. I couldn't even build anything with that. I should have not done that. Oh well. Nope, that thing's monstrously powerful still. So I searched the whole hangar. Found a few more drones and some steel splitters. But there really isn't much back there. Better than nothing. But damn, how many more gun bots are there? Only one more wave of them, but... From the looks of things on the satellite feed, it's massive. How come the overheat array takes so long to cool off? Can't you dump a tank of water on it or something? I could, but not if you want to fire it again. Damn it, Logan. It's my only form of attack. I, oh no, I got steel splitters now. You're right, right, they mentioned that earlier. Engineers are now available for construction. They're just two coins? Okay. They just got some crappy gun bots, which I can hold off with my walls, but not indefinitely, because I can't do partial damage to each one, necessarily. What if I just went all in on drones? That'd be a little wasteful, actually. Hmm.
they attack for five, right? So my number of walls is fine at the moment. But I should go all in on drones, I think. But I can't without more engineers, so... That gives me one more... Power, potentially. Let's, just, let's build engineers. Then we'll attack. I can defend just fine. Especially when I take out some of them. Three phases of a turn. One, defend against enemy attack. Two, activate and buy units. Three, attack. Yeah. I know that. So now we're taking our hits. Say goodbye to that wall. Oh, they're building more dudes. Now they got eight gun bots. Gonna have to bulk up a bit. They have... yeah. That takes us to nine on that, so I can go on the attack. Make up the defense. I mean, make up the difference. And drone for more additional income. I can't build attack units, though. And the overheat ray has a huge timer this time. Jeez. I'm not in a good spot right now. It's about as good as we're gonna get. I just need to last long enough. Alright, so one of the walls lives. That's good. Attacking for 11 now. Okay. Not great. Get another wall up. Second wall up. Fourth wall would be enough to hold it off. But I don't have the dr ah. That's nine damage. They're gonna hit my engineers. Shit. Better get drone crafting then. Right, but I get some of them first, which means they can't- right, right. I'm forgetting that I deal damage, which means that I actually don't lose everything that way. Not quite. Running out of walls, though. Because you can only build two at a time. Look, that's my cap on walls. They're at 12. I'm gonna hit him for two. They'll be at 10. I'm defending six. That's a problem. The engineers can soak up some of it, but we're gonna be running out of power soon. I see, these can soak up six. That leaves four more, which they're, I'm gonna lose some of my engineers, basically. Just gotta spam these drones so I can afford more. We're getting close to the overheat ray point, though. That's gonna make it a lot harder to build drones, which means we pretty much are gonna have to tank with drones. They're only at 10 now. They didn't go up much at all. Two walls are up. That's six right there. They're gonna be down to eight. So they'll do one damage to an engineer and then one to a drone, it looks like. Hmm. Let's plan on that then. Leave one drone in defense mode. Yeah. Is more drones the way to go or more engineers? I guess it has to be more engineers. So I can't afford anything else. But they can't defend until next turn, right? Now we're out of walls entirely. One more turn though until the ray, so all these drones can just defend it. 
There are too many of them. I'm gonna have to put these drones on defensive duty to protect the overheat ray. Do what you need to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow, 29. Yeah, I don't want to put anything on offense. I mean, I don't want, I don't want to use anything besides... No, I don't even need to attack with you, actually. Yeah, I just want to sit here passively. No, I can get away with you. No, I can't. Oof. Each of these accounts for two defense, apparently. Good thing I... Alright. Well, all of these are going to die. Except for this. Aha! One less death, I guess. <laughs> Absorb two and then he survives, I guess? Yep, he still survives. And our gun survives. Rest in peace, drones. May we always remember their noble sacrifice. We're crying out loud, Logan. They're insist they're insentient. And also, this is an incredibly scripted se uh, sequence. Explosion. 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 And so ends chapter three. Yeah, this is this campaign at the very, at least at the beginning is incredibly scripted and like on rails where there's only like one thing to do really. You're kind of just acting out the role, which is why the dialogue matches what's happening so well. Is because you're you're either going to do exactly the one thing you're allowed to do, or you're going to die, basically. Okay, where the hell did those things come from? Why were they attacking us? I'm not sure. They looked like brand new, high-grade military sentry bots. No kidding. Does entire robotics ship anything with that much fire firepower? Entire robotics are non-military only. They're not licensed to manufacture anything that can harm humans. Well, the robots threw a guy up a catwalk and attacked the city. We need to find out what's going on. We should get to the lab and see how the software autopsies are going. No, we should interrogate every single engineer at Centauri Robotics. I've been on the phone with their head of R&D all day. How am I going to get them to meet with us at the lab for, for a chat? Fine, let's go. All right, that's three. Cha that's three chunks of episode one down. There's five chapters of episode uh, five episodes total. I mean, it's an early access, and there I believe there's online battles and stuff. Watch top live games. A match between somebody and the Trump wall. I don't know what's happening. These are definitely units I've never seen before. Between... <laughs> what these names? The Trump Wall versus Hentai Kitten. What a what a pairing, right? <laughs> Let's get this tutorial out of the way. I, I just kind of want to see what a high-end match looks like. But this has been my Let's Try of Prismata. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there is a link in the description to the Steam page. Feel free to check that out. Uh, as, as per usual with this series, the... Uh, code was developed was provided by the the uh, developers what is happening i wonder how long a match goes for there's a countdown ooh it's that system so there's it, yeah i've seen this but this we actually of all places i saw this in uh mount your friends 3d but i think it's also in like i think it's a chess rule or something like that you have two timers. The left timer, the one that starts at 30 seconds, is your every turn timer. And then you have a certain amount of overtime time, which is your pool of time for the entire game. Uh, so you can spend 30 seconds per turn, but it doesn't immediately boot you out for after those 30 seconds. It starts eating into the, the right time instead after that. But once that time is gone, generally that means it's gone for good, and then your turns just will automatically end after 30 seconds, I believe, from that point on. Stuff is happening here. I wonder how it's. Oh, it's on turn. Oh, we got into this early. It's only on turn eight. I 
I can't really do commentary because I have no idea what's going on, but I kind of want to just... I'm just going to let this run. Um, you might not hear from me again. I might just sit here and watch this end and then the episode will end. But I just kind of wanted to... I wanted to see a real match of this. Even if I don't know what's going on. So you guys can kind of see what the gameplay looks like eventually when you're not in linear tutorial land forever. Thanks for watching like always, guys. I'll see you next time. Here's how how out of the loop I am. I uh, I can't tell why they won. <laughs> I said the Trump wall defeated Hentai Kitten. 
I assume Trump's on the top and the and hentai is on the bottom, which is just a weird fucking sentence to say. Uh, and like, what happened? <laughs> um, that guy on the top lost everything, seeming like a bunch of stuff died on top. But then the guy on the bottom died. Few stats. Whoa, that looks like it's really that looks good for Trump. <laughs> Look at all that building that happened, apparently. That was the damage, I guess. Hmm. The economy. Economy per turn. I don't <laughs> You can actually watch it in real time. How do I proceed, though? Oh, yeah, right here. Play. Look at all this stuff happening in rapid fire. Oh, my God. Hey, that's where we came in. Oh, Hentai Kitten gave up. Grandpa defeated Hentai Kitten by resignation. I was gonna say, his attack was smaller than their defense, like, how they gave up. I get it. Kind of, Alright. <laughs> I wonder if they gave up because of unrelated reasons, or because something crucial here revealed that they were gonna lose, but I don't know what that was. Anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs>